King's Indian Defense, Alec Hein Anti Grunfeld Variation. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. f3 prepares the e4 pawn push and takes away the g4 square from black, but weakens white's king side and the e3 square. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This gives away a free pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to capture a free pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This loses a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. Master games. It is the last book move. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This ignores a better way to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Recaptures. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. Right on target. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This misses an opportunity to kick a knight. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is good. This ignores a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable knight. It is an inaccuracy. This loses a pawn. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This kicks an opposing queen. It is best. This misses a better way to move a queen to safety. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. 
this threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This threatens to kick a rook. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This permits the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is an inaccuracy. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is excellent. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This overlooks an opportunity to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is a mistake. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is good. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well.